Hey guys, this is a video in my MATLAB tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get decimal answers if MATLAB returns a fraction answer using the VPA or the double command. Furthermore, I'm also going to discuss decimal precision on MATLAB using the format option. I'm going to explain how to get MATLAB to return answers in both scientific and engineering notation. Without further ado, let's get to it. This is a definite integral that I evaluated in a previous video where I showed how to integrate both definite and indefinite integrals. When I run the script, I get the answer as a fraction. Perhaps I want the answer to be displayed in a, as a decimal. What I could do is use the VPA command. So VPA and then parentheses ANS for answers. So whatever the uh, answer is here, it's going to run it through this command. And when I run it, I get the answer as a decimal. Alternatively, I could use the double command. And I get the exact same answer. But one thing you'll notice right away is that the number of decimal places displayed is different. With the double command, it fixes how many decimal places it is going to display for the answer. Uh, the VPA, on the other hand, stands for a variable precision floating point arithmetic, which, which uses the float option that is similar to those that you'll find on your calculators. For example, let's say that I'm going to divide one by nine. I'll do this in the command window. Let's clear all this out, CLC. I'm going to do VPA one divided by nine and press enter. And I get uh, 32 decimal places. And the answer because the decimal uh, answer is one repeated. On the other hand, if I do VPA one divided by two, I'll only get 0 0.5 because that's uh, for zero uh, for a half the equivalent decimal is just 0 0.5. You don't need additional uh, decimal places. Let's do double one divided by nine. You'll get 15 decimal places after the uh, decimal. Uh, if you do one divided by nine, and if you do double one divided by two, you'll still get that many decimal places with zeros as placeholders. Alternatively, you can use the single command. So if we do single one, uh, sorry, single one divided by two, it will give you seven decimal places after uh, the decimal. So uh, it's, it's almost half of the uh, precision of double. Uh, you can still use it if, if you want, it's at your discretion, but it's, it's a lower precision. We can control the precision for both the double and the VPA option. In order to change the precision for the VPA command, we need to use the digits command. So if I type in digits and then parentheses three and press enter, uh, nothing seems to happen. However, if I do VPA one divided by nine, Notice that only three digits are displayed after the decimal. Uh, however, if I do VPA one divided by two, I will still only get 0 0.5. It's just that the maximum number of decimal places is set to three with the digits command. I'm going to change the digits uh, back to 32. Okay. In order to change the number of decimal places for the double command, you can use the format option. The format option can be used to change the number of decimal places displayed by MATLAB generically, except for the VPA option for which you have to use the digits, uh, digit command to change the precision. Uh, I'm going to type in format long and then press enter. So without using the double or the VPA command, if I just type in one divided by nine, I'll get 15 decimal places after uh, the decimal point. And if I do one divided by two, I'll still get 
uh, that many decimal places with zeros as placeholders. So the format long option gives you 15 decimal places to the right of the zero, whether you need it or not. On the other hand, the VPA command is unaffected by the format long command. If we do VPA one divided by two, uh, it'll still just give you 0 0.5. Now, if we use the double command, it will still give you uh, something similar to this with zeros as placeholders. Alternatively, we can do format long, uh, long G, press enter. This time, if I do one divided by nine, I still seem to get that many decimal places, but if I do one divided by two, I just get 0 0.5. So as you may have guessed already, the for format long G uses the float option with the maximum number of decimal places being uh, 15. If you use the double command, double one divided by two, you'll notice that the format command has affected the output of the double uh, command. We can also look at the format short. So if we do format short, press enter, let's do one divided by nine again. We get only four decimal places. Now, if we do one divided by two, we still get four decimal places with zeros as placeholders. So this is similar to format long, except with uh, four decimal places. On the other hand, if we do format short G, G, and we do, let's say one divided by nine, we'll get uh, four decimal places. If we do one divided by two, we'll just get 0 0.5. So format short G also uses the float option, but with the maximum number of decimal places limited to four. Now, in either of these uh, formats, when the answer gets to be very large or very small, uh, the answer will be displayed in scientific notation. For example, if I type in one divided by 90,000, the answer will be displayed in scientific notation. Even if I wasn't uh, format long, if I do one divided by 90,000, the answer will still be uh, displayed in scientific notation. If you want all your answers to be displayed in scientific notation, you can do a uh, format short E So all your answers now will be displayed in scientific notation. So if I do one divided by nine, I get, get the answer in scientific notation and I'll still have four uh, decimal places since short uses uh, four places to the right of the decimal. If I use format long E and I do one divided by nine, I'll get uh, I'll get 15 places, places to the right of the decimal. Uh, and uh, that all answers will be displayed in scientific notation. If I was in format short E again, so just briefly, let's say I did one divided by half, it will still be displayed with four decimal places and in scientific notation. Sim similarly, uh, long E does, does something very similar. So format, long e and one divided by two, it will still give you that many decimal places. If you're working with units, perhaps you'll prefer engineering notation. If we do format short ENG for engineering notation, and then I do one divided by nine, we get the answer. And this time we have it in engineering notation. And engineering notation, all the exponents are powers, uh, are, are multiples of three. So three, six, nine, negative three, negative six, negative nine, et cetera. 
This may be very useful when working with SI units. You can also do format long ENG. And if you do one divided by nine again, for instance, you'll still get an engineering notation, but the only difference will be the number of decimal places. And that will just give you more places after the decimal. There you have it. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel, especially the MATLAB tutorial series and the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series. I hope you guys are staying healthy and safe. Until next time, take care, guys.